What if I told you there was a way you could modify your Creality Ender 3 to cut through any metal you wanted? If suddenly you could machine titanium, tungsten, chromium, vanadium, steel, neodymium, copper, silver, palladium, anything you wanted. Today, we're going to be learning how to do just that without any high voltage, dangerous chemicals, or even extra moving parts, really. Today, we're going to be talking about electrochemical machining. Electrochemical machining is very easy to understand. Imagine that you had a piece of metal and you left it outside and then you came back a couple of days later to no surprise find that the top of it, the outer surface of metal had been oxidized, it had rusted. What you've essentially done is machined away the outer surface of that metal. What electrochemical machining does is it speeds up that process and it focuses it in specific areas you want material to be removed at. So what we're going to be doing is rusting away at a part instead of cutting it or drilling it or hacking at it or blasting it with a laser. This is a very, very interesting process because to do it, all we really need is salt water and a 12 volt power supply. We'll also need a pump to circulate electrolyte. We'll need an electrode. So we'll be using a blunt tipped needle and we're going to need something to hold all this together. So we'll 3D print some parts, attach it all to our Ender 3, and then see if we can drill a hole straight through a piece of metal. We have a couple of technical details to cover very quickly. First of all, the G-code. The G-code is very simple. All it does is tell the printer to move down 0.05 millimeters every 25 seconds. I'll leave a copy of the G-code through links in the description and it will be annotated to tell you how everything works. But suffice it to say, it's extremely simplistic. Second, the lure lock to barb adapter. That is a little white piece that connects the needle to the tubing. That was purchased off Amazon. I'll leave links to that in the description as well. The needles themselves are just blunt tip lure lock needles with a little bit of heat shrinking tubing on the end to insulate the outside. I have lots of other videos on ECM if you wanna know how to do engraving or milling. So those, that's another great starting place. Everything in this video you can purchase for $50 off Amazon and you'll be able to machine aluminum. This is a really interesting technique to use if you want to build something out of aluminum or you have a piece of metal that just needs a hole right through it. There is theoretically no limit to the depth you can cut. So if you wanted to drill through 14 feet of steel, you could actually use this method. The only drawback is it's sort of slow. Now to drill a three millimeter hole, uh, it's actually traveling five millimeters. So it's starting off a millimeter above the metal and then it ends a millimeter below the metal. And that takes about 25 minutes to do those five millimeters. Now I've been able to get up to maybe a three millimeter to five millimeter cut in 15 minutes. Now is this technique great for drilling a thousand holes really, really quickly the way you would do with drill press? No. I also am still working on the aluminum 3D printer, of course, but we're waiting for the vacuum chamber to be built and we're waiting for a piece to cool off the lens. So videos on that will be uploaded hopefully soon no promises. And then after we get that aluminum printer printing, we'll work on taking down the cost. I have a couple of plans on how to do that. Maybe we'll be able to even use CO2. So stay tuned.